out to dinner is now blowing up into a battle over constitutional rights. The right to carry guns versus the right to keep guns out. Good evening, I'm Craig DeGrelli. And I'm Jennifer Griswold. The battle started after a Metro restaurant told a group of gun toters to take their weapons and eat elsewhere. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Kelly Bartnick is live in Papillion with new details. Kelly? Members of Nebraska Open Carry had planned to eat here at this Texas Roadhouse in Papillion at Shadow Lake. Now, they made the arrangements, but then they were told not to come because the guns on their hips would be too distracting. I didn't realize that this was such a huge topic. I just wanted to go to dinner. Nick Crawford isn't shy about the gun in his holster. For the last year, it's gone with him most everywhere. It's a safety thing. And... Uh, I believe in self-defense, and the best way to do that is to be well-trained with a sidearm. And uh, I personally believe open carrying is, is also a crime deterrent. But not everyone is on that page. It's a lesson his group, Open Carry Nebraska, learned even more after this Papillion, Texas Roadhouse reversed an earlier decision telling them they're not welcome with guns in view. That decision brought out a longtime Bellevue gun rights advocate to the table. Right now, at restaurants all across the city, People are having dinner with armed gun owners. Most of them are concealed, so you never know that that person there or that person there is armed. Mike Boyle's gun stance is proudly displayed at Nettie's Mexican restaurant in Bellevue. The group will dine here tomorrow, proudly welcomed when they walk in the door. To have a group of people come in here that are armed, I don't see that it would ever be a problem. The idea may upset certain gun rights groups and opponents alike. Crawford says he is using the extra press to put out his own message. We're coming up with a game plan to uh, give us a better light to help people and to educate people in Nebraska. A Roadhouse spokesperson said that having all those guns in view would end up scaring off the customers they told us tonight, quote, our employees are experts on hand cut steaks and providing legendary service, not debating or explaining gun rights to guests, including small children. It is not fair to put them in that position. We are reporting live in Papillion tonight. Kelly Barton at KMTV Action 3 News. The number of new